struggling to pick the perfect Linux distro? You're not alone. Debian 13 and Ubuntu 24.04 are both titans, but one might be a hidden gem for your specific needs. Today, we're diving deep into their latest releases, Debian 13 Trixie and Ubuntu 24.04 LTS Noble Numbat, comparing everything from lightning-fast performance to everyday user experience so you can finally make the switch with confidence. In the world of Linux, Debian and Ubuntu have each carved out legions of fans. Debian 13, with its pure approach and reputation for rock-solid stability, feels like the trusty workhorse in your server rack. Ubuntu 24.04, on the other hand, wraps that same reliability in a sleek, beginner-friendly package, bristling with modern features and backed by Canonical's polish. Let's start by looking under their hoods. Debian 13, the stable foundation. Debian 13 steps up to the plate with a move to the Linux 6.2 LTS kernel, bringing smoother performance, enhanced security modules, and broader hardware support, all while preserving Debian's hallmark stability. Underneath, the distribution now officially supports the RISC-4 64 architecture, opening the door for users to deploy Debian on 64-bit RISC-V hardware without compromise. On the desktop front, early testing hints at KDE Plasma 6 arriving soon. Alongside updated versions of Debian and XFCE, though Debian's default install remains intentionally minimal perfect for tinkerers who want to handpick every piece of their environment. Security-wise, the emphasis on conservative, thoroughly vetted packages means fewer surprises, and with long-term support measured in years, Debian 13 feels like a safe harbor for those who loathe the churn of rapid updates. Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, user-friendly and feature-rich. Ubuntu 24.04 LTS ships with the Linux 6.8 kernel, offering improved syscall performance, nested KVM support on PPC64L, and the low-latency tweaks so beloved by performance engineers. Out of the box, you get GNOME 46, which brings refinements to the file manager's search and performance, expandable notifications, and a cleaner, consolidated settings layout. Installation has been overhauled with a Flutter-based installer that guides newcomers through disk setup, encryption choices, and even snap-based app management without blinking. Perhaps most compelling is Ubuntu 24. 04's support lifecycle, five years of free security updates, extendable to 12 years through Ubuntu Pro, an unprecedented commitment that outlasts most hardware you'll ever buy. Comparing performance, packages, and community. If you measure your needs by sheer rock-solid uptime and a set-it-and-forget-it ethos, Debian 13's conservative update model and security-first mentality give it the edge. Its package archives may lag slightly behind Bleeding Edge, but you'll rarely encounter a surprise regression. Ubuntu 24.04, by contrast, strikes a middle ground. It's built on Debian testing snapshots, then hardened and optimized for desktop workflows. That means you get newer libraries and drivers, especially helpful if you care about gaming on Linux or using the very latest multimedia codecs while still resting on a stable base. When it comes to community support, Debian's mailing lists and wiki are encyclopedic, but sometimes tersely technical. Ubuntu's forums and Ask Ubuntu Q and AMP A site skew more beginner-friendly, with canonical-backed documentation, video tutorials, and the occasional Ubuntu-certified hardware list. Who should choose which? Choose Debian 13 if you need an ultra-stable server or workstation that seldom changes. Enjoy fine-grained control over every package and configuration file are comfortable solving your own dependency puzzles, or you just want minimal cruft. Choose Ubuntu 24.04 LTS if you crave a polished desktop experience that just works from first install. Want access to snaps, PPAs, and the latest hardware drivers without manual backports. Appreciate a 5-12 to 12 year support window backed by paid and community support channels. 
At the end of the day, both distros share the same Debian DNA, and you won't go wrong with either. If you're still undecided, consider spinning up virtual machines of each, taking them for a test drive, and seeing which workflow clicks. And hey, why not share your experiences below? We'd love to hear which distribution became your daily driver.